Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, it was reported that China's first 28 nanometers lithography machine has been successfully delivered, which is an exciting progress. The lithography machine is regarded as a money printing machine in the semiconductor industry. It is an indispensable equipment in the chip manufacturing process. Without the lithography machine, chips cannot be born. Therefore, after this important breakthrough in China's semiconductor industry, its development has become more diversified. At the same time, ASML expressed dissatisfaction with the news and tried to maintain the leading position of lithography machines in the global technology field. However, this news is of great significance to the domestic semiconductor industry, breaking the situation of technological blockade. The domestic model has been successfully delivered. As we all know, chips are formed by engraving information on wafers, and lithography machines are the most core equipment in chip manufacturing. The lithography machine is known as the money printing machine in the semiconductor industry. Without the lithography machine, the prosperity and development of the semiconductor industry cannot be talked about. Therefore, the technology of the lithography machine is quite complicated, and there are only a handful of companies that can produce such equipment. At present, the main countries in the world that can produce lithography machines are mainly developed countries such as the United States, the Netherlands and Japan. This major breakthrough is a milestone achievement of China's semiconductor industry. China's chip industry has been striving to catch up with the international advanced level, but it faces severe challenges from international technology blockade. The successful development of the domestic 28 nanometers lithography machine is another major progress in China's lithography production line, indicating that the technical level of China's semiconductor industry is constantly improving. The 28 nanometers lithography machine is a device independently developed by China, which can meet the needs of mainstream chip manufacturing in the current market. At present, there is still a gap between China's chip manufacturing process and the international advanced level. In the future, it is still necessary to continue technological innovation and breakthroughs to further narrow the gap with international giants. The development of the domestic lithography machine this time marks that China has initially mastered the ability of independent research and development in the field of lithography machines, laying a good foundation for the future development of China's semiconductor industry. 28 nanometers represents the wavelength of the lithography machine. The smaller the wavelength, the higher the density of the manufactured chips. At present, the world's most advanced lithography machine can manufacture 3 nanometers chips, while China's lithography machine is still at the level of 28 nanometers. Although the lithography machines produced in China are still far behind the international advanced level, they can meet the production needs of most daily electronic products. China's 28 nanometers lithography machine has been successfully delivered and domestic related companies have high expectations for this technology. The biggest feature of this lithography machine is that all its core components have been localized, which fully reflects China's technological independence and independent innovation capabilities in the field of semiconductor manufacturing. At the same time, this also lays a solid foundation for China's future development in the field of lithography machines. ASML feels threatened. It is precisely because of this delivery news that ASML is dissatisfied. ASML is an absolute giant in the global lithography machine manufacturing field, and its technical strength and market share almost occupy most of the world. At this time, ASML expressed dissatisfaction with the progress of China's lithography machines and widely publicized this news trying to maintain the leading position of lithography machines in global technology. ASML may think that China's breakthrough in lithography machine technology will affect its market share, so it is dissatisfied with China's progress. In the view of industry insiders, 
This major breakthrough in the field of lithography machines in China marks that China's lithography machine industry is gradually maturing. ASML may be worried about the continuous approach of China's lithography machine technology, and perhaps one day in the future, this technology will surpass them. ASML's attitude towards Chinese lithography machines is therefore fully revealed. This phenomenon also reflects the fierce competition in the current international market, and countries are constantly making breakthroughs and innovations in their technological fields. As a leading company in the field of global lithography machine manufacturing, if ASML does not pay attention to the development of the Chinese lithography machine industry, it will have an unignorable impact on its market share. In the field of domestic chip manufacturing, SMIC is currently the most promising company. At present, SMIC has four production lines in mass production and will continue to expand production capacity at advanced process nodes. Among them, the most advanced process node is the 5 nanometers process. In the future, SMIC also plans to build a more advanced production line in Shanghai with a target specification of 12 inches. This means that its production target will reach the 3 nanometers process. Through the 28 nanometers lithography machine delivered this time, SMIC will further enhance its chip manufacturing capabilities and provide customers with higher quality and higher performance chips. At the same time, this event will also attract more investors to pay attention to and participate in domestic chip manufacturing companies such as SMIC, thereby providing the necessary funds and resources for their development. Although domestic lithography machines face challenges, the successful development of the lithography machine is undoubtedly exciting good news. However, this does not mean that China has achieved full localization in the field of lithography machines, and it still requires a lot of time and technical investment. The technical difficulty of lithography machines is extremely high, especially in the research and development of high-end lithography machines. China still has a lot of room for breakthroughs. China needs to pay attention to and learn from the development of foreign technology at all times to further narrow the gap with them. In this process, the technological blockade of various countries is also extremely severe. Therefore, while China is conducting independent research and development, it should explore cooperation with other countries to achieve technological breakthroughs and progress at a faster speed and higher efficiency. In addition, China also needs to increase investment in the research and development of lithography machines. This includes not only financial investment, but also human and material support. Only with the efforts of more scientific researchers and technical experts can technological breakthroughs and progress be achieved faster. More importantly, China's education system also needs to be reformed and adjusted to meet the needs of scientific and technological development. In order to cultivate more outstanding scientific research talents and technical experts. In summary, the successful delivery of the domestically produced lithography machine this time marks an important breakthrough for China in the field of lithography machines. However, the technical difficulty of lithography machines is extremely high, and continuous research and development and investment are required. At the same time, China's scientific research environment and education system also need to be reformed to adapt to the needs of scientific and technological development. China's semiconductor industry has taken an important step forward, but China cannot stop. China needs to continue to work hard to catch up, innovate, and break through. Only in this way can China occupy a place in this rapidly developing semiconductor industry and achieve independent control. Although this progress has brought joy to China, China still faces severe challenges. On the road ahead, China needs to pay more sweat and effort.